The incredible display of athleticism you just watched is a traditional Indian sport called Malakam. Even though it's nearly a thousand years old, it wasn't until 2013 that it was declared an official state sport of India. Today on Million Ways to Live, we explore the acrobatic world of Malakam and learn why this amazing sport is an essential part of Indian culture. Malkam is a part of Indian culture. It's known as the traditional Indian sport. And it is that unique sport which gives maximum exercise to the body in minimum possible time. And that's the fun of it. Malkam is a very unique kind of sport. See, in this sport, you work against the gravity. You pull yourself up. When you're holding the rope malkam in your toe, you know, it's the kind of pressure. We don't use it anywhere. So each and every muscle gets used. In malakam, you have to use all the muscles in the body. So I'm not saying these muscles involve this. These muscles involve this. From top to toe, all the muscles involved in malakam. If you are going to a gym, you require a different equipment for your shoulders, a different equipment for your thigh. But here on Malkam, one piece of wood or one single cotton rope and you can practice on it all the time and enjoy. The world of Malakam is very diverse, with several variations and styles existing within the sport. Like bottle Malakam, which involves placing the pole on top of two layers of glass bottles before actually performing or group malakam, which involves players working together and contorting their bodies to create impressive symmetrical designs around the pole. But when it comes to the sport at the competitive level, however, there are only three foundational forms. Basically, there are three types of malakam which are included in the competitive events. The first e main event is pole malakam. It includes all your basic movements, holds, grips. Every fundamentals of malakam are covered in this. Rope is entirely different from that. Rope is like a moving and you have to balance yourself. It also includes intricate knots. We have to twist our body on the rope in such a way that we do not get stuck but still maintain our grip. Yin Malkham is uh, continuously moving, revolving. So it includes a lot of coordination and effort. It needs to have a counter motion so that you are balanced on top of, the, top of it. So that the motion of the Malkham is controlled, your own balance is controlled and then you, you can perform a different positions or asanas on it. Jumping into my first Malakam training session was fun, challenging, but probably one of the hardest things I've ever attempted. I only lasted about five minutes before completely tiring out. After many of the athletes offered up their help and coaching, I realized something important. All the athletes practice together regardless of their age and there's an underlying cultural reason for this. Indian culture, age is not a factor. I learn from my student. I am not giving anything to him. He has that ability. Just I molded that ability. And I learned from him. This is our Indian culture. Guru, then Shishya. Then Shishya will become a Guru. Then Guru will Shishya. Here, that same culture they have followed. Children in India start Malakam from a very early age. The daily training routines develop discipline and concentration that will benefit them as they grow older. Whether they are a boy or a girl, Malakam is a great way of molding these kids into physically and mentally capable young adults. Malakam basically helps you develop flexibility, strength, stamina, right from a very young age. If you start it for, at a later age, say like uh, 15, 16, it is a bit difficult as the body starts becoming rigid as we grow up. The muscles start tightening, the bones start getting hard. So flexibility becomes a bit of an issue. So starting at an early age gives us a very good advantage. So more girls need to do malkam because that gives you a different level of confidence. So when they see malkam first, uh, they think no, they become very reluctant. Like, you know, I don't, I don't think I can do that. But at the end of the session, when they actually climb up, when they do the entire routine, they feel so much confident, there's a smile on their face, so that fear gets automatically turned into the confidence. 
psychologically they start thinking okay i don't think anything is difficult for me anymore Malakam is all about creating access to the masses. A single Malakam poll allows dozens of children to practice and train, and all of the coaches I spoke with teach their students for free. That's how they were coached, so now they're paying it forward to the next generation. Not only does this mean that the sport of Malakam will continue to excel, but it also builds, strengthens, and supports the local community.